Hello everybody, I'm back. I know it's been a while, but I have a really incredible story to share with you. Um, to catch you up, I had a baby in January, and being the type A, very organized type, I had so many grand plans of what I was going to do for my business so that it could thrive while I was away. Uh, now, my pregnancy was a bit rough, and baby boy decided to come a little bit early, so I wasn't actually able to do most of the plans that I had decided I was going to do. And so, well, I went off to embrace the newborn snuggles, kind of just knew in my hard or accepted that my business was maybe going to crumble a little bit while I was away and it would need some TLC when I come back. So six months later, when I finally worked up the courage to look at my analytics and my income, I was very pleasantly surprised to see that my business continued to thrive even while I was away and not actively working. And so I want to share that story with you now to uh, not to encourage you to just up and leave your business for a few months. I don't recommend that. Um, but to kind of let you know that if you put some safety nets in place in your business, that it can thrive even when life comes at you with some surprises. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I help you build a thriving business on Squarespace. So first of all, what did I manage to do before I went away on maternity leave? Uh, first of all, I updated my plugins and products to try and make sure that they were as up to date as possible before I went off. I turned off my one-on-one -on -one services, all my booking pages and things like that so nobody would book while I was away. I did manage to schedule a few blog posts to go out, not near as many as I was hoping, um, but I did manage to schedule a few to go out while I was gone. I set up an autoresponder on my emails as well as a pop-up, announcement bar, message on my product pages so that people would know I was away. I didn't want anybody to purchase from me and then feel abandoned if they emailed me for help and I didn't get back to them. And then I kind of just accepted that my business income would dip while I was away and give myself a little bit of grace for not being able to follow up on anything else that I had planned. So the second part of this is, did I actually do any work while I was away? Um, the answer to that is largely no. I had planned to come back after three months, but it just wasn't really working and I didn't feel that I was quite ready to come back. Um, so I didn't really do much for the six months that I was away. I did answer some emails, especially from clients that were emailing me for help um, or that had purchased um, you know, my plugins, my encyclopedia, all of that. I did kind of prioritize those emails. I did respond to a few comments on my website and YouTube sort of just when I was feeling up to it. Um, I participated as an affiliate uh, for Paige Brunton on her launch, um, which has required me to schedule a few emails and answer questions that come in. Um, I did try to do a few coaching calls, but I didn't feel like I was able to give my full undivided attention, especially if the baby decided not to nap during that time. And so I decided to put those on hold a little bit more um, just to make sure that when I do bring them back, I'm giving the quality um, and my undivided attention that they deserve for booking with me. So what happened? Again, I fully expected because I did not <laughs> do very much, fully expected my income to just <laughs> and me to have to really give it some TLC to get it going again. Um, but I was very pleasantly surprised. So I'm going to go over a few of my analytics that I discovered when I came back. The first is I looked at my website traffic. What happened with my traffic? Um, it stayed relatively the same until around March where it did kind of nosedive a little bit. Um, I completely attribute this to the few blog posts I was able to schedule out for January and February. And then as soon as those stopped, it did um, dip. So it would have helped if I had been able to schedule out a bit more. My older content did continue to keep um, some traffic coming in, but just not as high as I had in January and February. Now on my YouTube channel, um, my subscriber growth, watch time impressions were slightly lower this year compared to that same period in 2023. Um, but it was pretty consistent. It wasn't too big of a dip. Um, what really surprised me though is my revenue actually increased dramatically compared to that same period last year. Um, so 
If I had scheduled more video tutorials through my blog and things, it would have maintained that subscriber growth, watch time, impressions, all of that. Again, my older content did kind of keep um, going and obviously bring in the revenue, um, but it would have kept my metrics a little more stable had I scheduled some out. Now with the revenue, I attribute this to a change in strategy I did in the back half of 2023. I noticed that my CPM had dropped a lot and I know a lot of other people were experiencing this as well. Um, and so I really focused on figuring out how I could get my CPM back up um, and my efforts paid off. It did rise back up by the end of 2023. And that stayed steady even when I wasn't posting content while I was away. Um, so that was uh, a very good, it was, it was nice to see that my efforts had paid off there and then continued to thrive even when I wasn't posting content. Um, email subscribers, my email list did continue to grow, not quite as much as um, in 2023 from January to June in 2023, but fairly close, nothing, um, not a drastic distance there. Um, I would say that um, that was thanks to the freebies I had on my site, my newsletter, um, my blog opt-ins and stuff from my old con, it was all uh, still continuing to bring people in. And the big one that I know you wanna hear about is income. So when I finally got the nerve to look at my income, I was quite shocked, honestly. So even though my website traffic had dipped quite a bit, um, I wasn't pushing sales. I didn't really, like I didn't do ads or anything like that. Wasn't posting on social media at all. Um, again, didn't really have any new publishing on my new blog or YouTube uh, content at all coming in. My income only went down by 9% compared to that same period in 2023. So even though I wasn't actively working, bringing people into my site, because of how I had my business set up, my income actually only changed by 9%, which blows my mind. It's, it's very surprising to even me. So I wanted to dive further into that. What actually made my business money? Because obviously these are the things I want to put more time in and more effort in um, because they continue to keep that my business consistent, even if I wasn't putting the time in. So what exactly did make my business income? Like how did it make income when I wasn't working? And the answer to that is passive income. So passive income is money that keeps coming in even though you're not actively working. And so these are the passive income streams that I have in my business that continue to help me thrive. The first is YouTube. This was um, the biggest uh, difference that I saw. So remember I had that huge increase in revenue. Um, so how it works is I have a video that's then posted on my blog. And at the time I had started this because that was really the only way to get videos into uh, Squarespace. And then I kind of realized, well, if I'm putting the time into this any already, I might as well figure out how to monetize this. And so I did. And now it just continues to bring in um, money, even though I wasn't posting new content, like old content I posted years ago is still bringing in money to my business um, fairly consistently now um, throughout the year. My second is my plugins and coding encyclopedia. So my plugins are um, digital products that can be purchased at any time on my site. Um, so they require, you know, updating and answering client emails, um, but it's not a direct trade of um, time for money. And so those continue to be found by people who need them and purchased. My encyclopedia, uh, I do launch that and open that a couple times a year. So it's not completely passive in that sense. It requires a launch. But then after that, it continues to bring in money through payment plans, through subscribers, and through um, some other things. Uh, even though I'm not actively launching, it will continue to bring that money in throughout the year. And then um, finally is affiliate income. So Throughout my blog posts, throughout my blog, I promote certain uh, products and businesses and those bringing commissions, even if I'm not actively uh, pushing those out. I did participate in an affiliate launch, um, again, which required me to schedule out a few emails, but then um, that continued to bring in income several months after I had done that. 
So the kind of magic of passive income is that the time you put in now is going to continue to be fruitful for a long time after. Obviously, some of these income streams are more reliable than others, um, but that passive nature was what helped my business thrive even when I wasn't actively working and had to take a step back. So overall, if I compare um, 2023 to 2024 in terms of those those initial months, um, my encyclopedia actually did a lot more uh, this year compared to um, 2023. My plugins did a little bit less, um, affiliate a tiny bit less, um, but not a lot, and YouTube did a ton more. Um, so again, there was only a 9% difference between the two years. So the major takeaways that I want you to do, um, or that I've learned from this experience is one that I'm so grateful I added passive income to my business because it really helped my business thrive, even when I wasn't actively working. Now I'm not saying that you can just up and walk away from your business for several months and expect it to just be fine without you. Again, I don't recommend that at all. But it is nice to know that you can create these safety nets so that when life comes at you, um, you can have the peace of mind that your business um, has the potential to thrive even while you are away. So um, <laughs> not what I was uh, planning to happen. Um, it's crazy that welcoming a new life can bring me so many business insights. Um, but I really wanted to share that with you so that you can work smarter and not harder and uh, create a business that supports your life regardless of what um, it brings. So now that you know um, about passive income and how it can help your business thrive, I suggest you check out my blog post on building a stellar business plan for the new year so that you can use this information to um, put into practice for a plan for the next year coming up.